Hi folks, I'm Dr. Abdul Manan here, Medical Director at Blue Peanut Medical Education. So this year, uh, 2025, we're going to see a seismic shift in how the UCAT operates as an entry test for medical and dental students. As you probably already discovered, they have ditched abstract reasoning. Um, so if you look at the reasons why, uh, they seem to believe that it's easily coached, it's easily taught, and um, uh, it doesn't really test people well enough for entry into medical and dental schools. So uh, as a consequence, they've dropped it. It's probably the biggest change I can think of since, is it 2018 when decision making came in? So really as a replacement, what they're doing is simply having the other three sections, i.e. the uh, situational judgment, The uh, that's still gonna be there on its own, as you know, and quantitative reasoning, decision making, and verbal reasoning. Those three sections will also continue. So each section will still be marked between 300 and 900 marks. So a total of 2,700 there, with also the band one to four for situational judgment. Having looked at the difference between um, this uh, 2024 and 2025, I can see that they've increased the time slightly for each section, but not, it's only like a few minutes here and there. Uh, so I presume they'll be a bit more involved with each question, but I don't think it's gonna change dramatically. The actual length of the test is going to, still going to be about a couple of hours long. Um, so I think in terms of preparation, I'd still take the same approach or in terms of your learning and revising. Of course, you don't have to worry about abstract, but I would focus on the other areas a lot more. So as a consequence of this, following in from this year, we are going to focus on the other sections a lot more in our UCAT courses. I'll see you guys in June, July 2025.